Hello guys and welcome back to the Teacher Made channel where everything is made by a teacher. My name is Shannon. I am a former special education teacher and today we will be going over one of my other favorite websites. Um, this is another website review and I have been using this website um, since the pandemic started and it is called liveworksheets.com. So you're going to put in liveworksheets.com and a lot of teachers they don't know about this um website um I, like i said i just found this one out um during the pandemic so so here's the website liveworksheets.com and as you can see you can create your own account and i did create an account so i'm going to go and click in here and as you can see, you can, um, well, my account didn't come up, but you can create your own account in here. Um, I just got this new laptop, so I'm transferring over a lot of passwords and everything. But this is the website. It has different worksheets that were created by different teachers, and you can upload them. They're very interactive. So let's just go CVC words. I use a lot of these for when I was teaching my kindergarten through third grade students. So I, for example, I clicked on CVC words. So I'm gonna click here and up here, you can see it tells you the ages, what subject it's for, and even the grade level. Um, some will even include as far as the the standard that goes along with it. Like I said, these are websites. I'm sorry, not websites. These are worksheets created by other teachers and you can add it to your Google Classroom, add it to Microsoft Teams, or you can share it through WhatsApp. So we're gonna go ahead and do this worksheet first. So like I said, I did this with my students during COVID when we were returning back to school, but everybody was still at home. And this is really great, you guys, because like I said, you can allow the child on the screen to interact. Maybe you're like tutoring. Check out my other video, um, how to make $1,000 a week tutoring. So you can have the student put in here the information or like how I did was I did it along with the student. I know some platforms you have screen share like zoom which is what i'm using now and then other platforms they don't have it so like i said i answered these and what you're going to do is you're going to click finish and then either the students can click check my answers or they can email it to the teacher so they would check their answer so like you said it graded it a nine out of ten or they can email it to the teacher. So let's do one where we're gonna email it to the teacher. So I'm gonna click on this one on here. It says, listen and choose the correct word. Dog, 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 dog. All right, so click dog. Cat, cat. So it's picking the correct answer for this one. Cat. But before the student does that, try to have them pick the word for you. So I'm gonna pick pig. I'm just gonna randomly pick them because I want you to see what it looks like when some of the answers are incorrect. And then you can check my answers or you can have email to the teacher. And they can put in the um the teacher's name, grade level, and so forth, the subject. So this was one way of how we did COVID. Um, you can still use it for when we go back to school this fall, or you can make your own interactive worksheet and they have a tutorial, a video of how to get started, or you can make your own interactive workbook, which is what I did, but right now I can't get it to my login. because, like I said, this is a new computer and I'm transferring over all my passwords. So sorry guys, I wish I could show you that, but you can make your own interactive workbook 
or just take a worksheet from another website, upload it here. Now, some websites, they won't let you take it because of copyright, which makes sense. But if you create a document on Word, then you'll be able to upload it into here and then create your own website, your own worksheet for the test. So let's let's do writing. So let's do fill in the sentence. And this helps with their um their writing. So here's one. A young blank wrote a new book. So even what on here you can say a young scientist wrote a new book. You would just fill this in. People can read the blank starting on March 16th. All right, you just fill it in. All right, and like I said, you can just have them check their own work, check their answers. All right, so I got a six out of 10 on this one. And then we're gonna do another one, which is sight words. So I would do sight words for my kindergartners as well. So let's look at the reading comprehension one. So what I would do is I would read it to them and then have them give me the answer to the question. And then I would type it in for them. What is don't like to do? It says he likes cats. Jake likes to run and play with cats. So play with cats. And you press finish again. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, this website is called liveworksheets.com. And like I said, you can use it during COVID or you can use it whenever you have your classroom. Like I said, it works good for if you are tutoring a online virtual class or if you already in the class, like we use this at my camp over the summer. We came back to in person and we use this for school when I was teaching them science. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button and also subscribe to this channel and share this with someone else, guys. Thank you.